Types of toxic mold that can hurt you. There are several types of mold, and some are more harmful than others. Part of the confusion about mold, how it affects one person differently than the next, exists because mold can harm humans in several ways rather than one. Some people are simply naturally allergic to mold, whereas others may not be able to fight off the normal pathogens it produces. Some mold produces deadly toxins that are intended to kill other organisms, to ensure survival. Types of mold by health effects. Allergenic molds affect people who have certain allergies or asthma. When people who are allergic to mold are exposed to it, they have a hypersensitive reaction, during which an excessive number of mast cells are activated, resulting in an extreme inflammatory response in the respiratory system. Pathogenic molds are capable of causing certain infections or diseases. Most healthy individuals, with their immune systems in good shape, can regularly fight off pathogens. However, pathogenic molds are dangerous to people who have compromised or weakened immune systems, which is why pathogenic molds are considered opportunistic pathogens. Toxic molds produce mycotoxins, poisonous chemicals that are dangerous to humans. Unlike allergenic and pathogenic molds, toxic molds intentionally harm other living things rather than the harm merely being a side effect. Some of the most deadly chemicals on the planet are mycotoxins. They're found both on mold and mold spores. People can get exposed to mycotoxins via ingestion, dermal exposure and inhalation. No matter what type of mold you're dealing with, it's best to remove the problem as soon as possible, even if no one has fallen ill yet. Most common types of toxic mold found in homes. Stachybotrys is otherwise known as black mold and is one of the more harmful toxic mold species. Black mold is usually found inside a house. The problem with black mold is that it's hard to detect. Memnonella, also referred to as black mold, is similar to Stachybotrys and has the same effects. Memonella differs in that when viewed under a microscope, its spores are released in chains, whereas the spores that Stachybotrys releases are in clumps. Aspergillus, with 20 species in total, is dangerous because it will often cause allergies, leading to serious asthmatic reactions, hay fever or lung infections. Penicillium. There are many species of penicillium, some beneficial and some harmful. Some species of penicillium are used when producing cheese in medicine. Alternaria is one of the most prevalent toxic molds and includes many species. Geotrichum is white in color and usually appears powdery. It is known to spread pretty fast and is often associated with adverse health conditions such as tuberculosis and pulmonary infections. Trichoderma is also white in color with green patches. It is an allergic type of mold that mostly thrives in moist areas. Contains a lethal enzyme, which can destroy such building materials as wood, textiles and paper products. Cotomium. It has a musty odor and flourishes in wet, dark environments such as under carpets, drywall, baseboards, and wallpapers. Cotomium is often mistaken for black mold as they have the same characteristics and exist in similar environments. Bipolaris is whitish or grayish brown in color. Bipolaris grows rapidly and only takes about five days to mature. It is a well-known allergen and may cause asthma, wheezing, stuffy nose and coughing when its spores are inhaled. Eulocladium. This type of mold commonly grows in bathrooms, basements, and kitchens. Eulocladium has two subspecies both of which are highly allergic. It is linked to severe allergic reactions such as hay fever and sometimes skin infections. Fusarium. Exposure to this mold can cause allergic reactions, including a sore throat, dermatitis, itchy eyes and running nose. Further exposure can cause lethal conditions such as brain abscesses and bone infections. Its toxins can damage the nervous system and cause internal bleeding. Oreobacidium is also allergic and may cause skin, eye and nail infections. It is normally pink, brown or black in color, but gradually turns to darker brown as it matures. This type of mold grows in wet and water-damaged areas such as behind wallpapers, wooden surfaces and carpets. Cladosporium. It commonly grows indoor in carpets, fabrics and under floorboards. It is brown in color or sometimes olive green with a suede-like texture. Exposure to its spores can cause a variety of allergic reactions, including itchy eyes, running nose, sore throat, and skin infections. Ascospores. It is commonly found in labs where it is spread by infected animals. Ascospores come in different groups such as dermatophytes, which can destroy keratin-based materials such as nails and hair, and the histoplasma capsulatum, which is specifically resistant to dry conditions. Basidiospores. They only grow indoors in rare cases when they are brought in through open windows, doors, pets or clothing. 
Basidiospores are also allergens and may cause such reactions as asthma, hay fever, and lycoperdinosis, and can be identified by sampling the air. However, it's important to find and identify all mold in your home, as mold can seriously threaten your health and the health of your loved ones. Call Mold Busters, the decontamination experts, and avoid infection risks. Call us at 1-877-566-6653.